what's up finding your purpose fans and design for purpose fans as well and welcome to another episode of finding your purpose happy holidays everyone i hope everyone is doing well while they're shopping and all that stuff getting ready for christmas um i know there's quite a few that's probably like let's get over the holidays whatever this that and the third But what I wanted to do, like I always do, remind everyone to please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I love the fact that the channel is growing, so let's keep that going, please. Thank you all to those that have subscribed and those who are going to in the future. You're all welcome. You're all needed. And like I always remind you guys, as soon as I get to a thousand subscribers, I can start my giveaway and give away all kind of prizes. Who knows? Maybe some cash prizes in there. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you haven't got the word out there, go ahead and tell your friends, family, whoever. Follow my page and get in on the fun. Okay, with that being said, I want to talk real quick about this sad story I heard. I tried to find good stuff, but this one just really, really touched my heart. (sighs) You guys. Okay. This happened about maybe like a week ago, I would say, Um, out in Greensville, Texas. You have this 14-year-old boy. He was over at a friend's house, you know, supposed to be, you know, chilling, you know, doing things that boys do. I don't know, most boys chill outside, play the game, you know throw the ball outside, skateboard, or whatever it is. Well, Jalen Moore was at a friend's house and, um, you know, supposed to be kicking it, maybe waiting for his ride later on. And his friend says he was playing with the gun It was an accident, he didn't mean to. But anyway, he had the gun, and he pointed it, and obviously squeezed the trigger, and took Jalen Moore's life. Now, for the life of me, I know you guys have heard me say this on other podcast episodes. Why? Why and how are these underage children getting these weapons? Do their parents have, do they have them in their home? And are they unlocked or are these children just unruly and they get them off the streets? I don't know, but my heart is broken. There's no way a young teenager like that should have a gun in his possession. And even if you had a gun, you're old enough to know to not point it at anyone. And... I don't know about you guys, but in my opinion, I don't think this was an accident. And the reason I don't is because, one, the other, the kid who did it, he was 14 himself. You know better than pointing a gun at someone, for one. Two, Jalen 
was a star athlete at his school. You know, he was the number one man on campus, so to speak, with sports and all that. His major sport was basketball. He was like the star on the basketball team. Jealousy can make you do a lot of things, and I'm kind of thinking, I'm leaning towards it was jealousy. And another reason that makes me lean towards that, because if it was an accident, why would you get his phone when he's laying on the floor losing his life? Why are you going to get his phone and text his sister? Because by then, you know, word word had got out, you know, that, oh, you know, your brother's been hurt. So she texts his phone. And now I don't know if it's the guy who did it or if they had other friends over. Somebody gets Jalen's phone. And his sister texts like, oh, are you okay? You know, I heard something happened to you, this, that, and the third. And he texts, no, I'm okay, I'm chilling. Why would you get his phone and respond as if you were him? If you really cared, if it was an accident, why would you do that? It doesn't make sense. Make it make sense, y'all, because the word is already out that, you know, he got hurt in some way, shape, or form. But then, you know, somebody gets the phone and acts as if they're him and says, no, he good, he's just chilling. Really? So that makes me think... It wasn't an accident. Now, it could be that whoever did this was scared out of their mind. But why would you pick up the phone, waste time telling lies like that? I'd rather not just pick up the phone at all. Like, so, you know, that makes me wonder, was this an accident or not? That's why I'm leaning towards more jealousy, because at that age, even though you're not old enough to legally own a firearm, you're smart enough to know not to point it at someone, you know. And then for you to do that ignorant stuff, texting his sister, acting as if you were him. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I... I have a hard time thinking that it was an accident. I th- I really do believe it was more on the jealousy end than an accident. Now, I could be wrong because people do stupid stuff when they're scared. People freeze and panic and do dumb things when they're scared. Some people don't think rational. Some people do. So maybe whoever was portraying to be him, like I said, I don't know if it was the active, I don't want to say active shooter because it's not like he was going on a rampage. I don't know if it was the quote-unquote friend that quote unquote actually accidentally shot at him. 
well, I shouldn't say shot at him, shot him in the face, or if they had more people there or somebody in the house that was already there tried to help the situation. And so they portrayed like they were him. Now, I don't know, but to me, it just, it it doesn't sit well. And it to me, it doesn't seem like an accident, you guys. I really don't. So if you guys think it was an accident or any theory you guys could come up with, you were welcome to talk about it in the comments or whatever. Because, like I said, some people do crazy stuff when they're scared. Some people do. And, you know... Sorry, guys. Got a little dry throat. Some people do crazy stuff when they're scared and they think that that is going to help the situation but in in reality it makes the situation worse so you know I just don't understand like who whose firearm was it where did they get it from? What possessed this young man to play with the gun? You know, it, it's it's not like you're four or five and you don't know what you're doing. You know, at that age, that pointing something as dangerous as a firearm in someone's face is not good. Common sense. Make it make sense. Because it's, it's... To me, I think it's asinine that it was an accident. I don't know. I... In doing the research, I looked at this in every possible way that I can. And I just don't get it. I don't see it as that because you're old enough to know better. And then it threw me off with the whole texting and pretending to be him while he's laying on the floor losing his life. You're pretending to be him texting his sister Oh, no, I'm good, just chilling. Really? Do you really care about Jalen? I mean, I, I just... I don't understand. I really don't understand. And I'm trying to make it make sense as the way it's being told through research and stuff but it is not making sense and so the family is demanding answers which i don't blame them it's time to knock down doors somebody knows what truly really happened somebody knows something and that family deserves to know <clears throat> so yeah you know the school <clears throat> is they I can't remember if they're going to honor him or if they have already, but I do know that during the games, they're going to lay his jersey on a chair and honor him that way. Now, <clears throat> they did say that they were going to have a memorial, but like I said, I'm not sure if... They have already done it, or if the date hasn't come up yet. I'm pretty sure, you know, they got to check with the family and all this type of stuff. I do know that 
<clears throat> the family did set up a GoFundMe. So, you know, if you guys would like to help, whatever, you can um you can type in Jalen Moore, you know, GoFundMe. And and if I can if I can copy and paste, I will do so and put it in the description box. Sometimes it doesn't let me link things like it's supposed to, you know. So hopefully they fix that. But I am going to try to put it in the description box. Um, <clears throat> this, like I said, is just awful, you know. It's awful any time this happens. But especially right now, around the holidays, you're, this is the time you should be getting ready to gather with family and create memories and, you know, holiday memories, I should say. Because in my opinion, you should create memories 24-7 as much as you can with family because you just never know. But a tragedy like this, around this time of year, you know, and, he, you know, so young. And his family says that he was their world. You know, he would do anything for anybody. He would give anybody the shirt off his back. You know, he was respectful and, and you know, just an all-around wonderful, you know, person. And they liked the young man he was turning into he was good in school, of course, you know, he was an athlete, but, you know, good grades and things like that. So, it, it's just awful when things like this happen. You know, it really is. And, I don't know, it just makes my stomach turn. So, it's just like people, all I can say is, if you own a firearm, keep it safe, out of the reach of children and minors. Make sure it's licensed so you don't get your ass in a bunch. Be smart. Be smart. Because there's too many tragedies like this happening that could be avoided if people use common sense. That's all I'm asking. All right, you guys, if you want to talk more about it, like I said, if you guys have an opinion on what you guys think it is, leave it in the comments below. I love you guys. Stay safe. Happy holidays. And I will catch you next week. Love ya.